Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option the 2019 Maserati Ghibli Base. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2019 Maserati Ghibli has all the trappings of a mid-sized luxury sedan, but its sporty handling, sporty engine note, and seductive design make it stand out in this accomplished but staid crowd. The Maserati badge also suggests it'll be priced higher than comparably equipped competitors. While it's true the Ghibli is more expensive than, say, a six-cylinder BMW 5 Series, it's not that much so. The Ghibli narrows the price gap somewhat with standard features that you often have to pay extra for in those other cars, including leather upholstery, a navigation system, and blind spot monitoring. All right, let's find out about the Ghibli. It says it's a bold statement, ele elegantly delivered. Here's a little history. It was first introduced in 66. The original Maserati Ghibli embodied the mark's hunger to innovate, compete, and win. Today, Ghibli maintains the tradition of empowered, race-bred performance combining a smooth, luxurious ride with razor-sharp, coupe-like handling. Now, they've got a few bullet points, uh, five to be exact, and so let's go through those real quick. It says, the perfect combination of four-door luxury and sporting performance. You get your choice of powerful V6 engines built at the Ferrari factory in Marinello, Marinello, Italy. The Ghibli and Ghibli S provide exciting driving dynamics and sports car handling. The Ghibli SQ4 with its intelligent all-wheel drive, that's really the big difference between the S and the SQ4. And then lastly here, the luxurious interiors with leather or available class exclusive, oh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, silk upholstery. Let's just say that. It says, refined details, brilliantly crafted, graceful and assertive, the Maserati Ghibli offers something very different in a world of gray, business-like conformity does look nice they do the bowers and wilkins who else does bowers and wilkins i think jaguar does bowers and wilkins as well let's get a close-up of some of these photos it's beautiful leather it is sumptuous it looks sumptuous i like it looks good look at the headliner back there might not be um alcantara but it's some kind of suede looking like material there's a nice shot of the door <laughs> and this uh, speaker then we have another shot of the seat with its uh you know cross stitching or however they call that here's a nice shot of your paddle shifter you've got your leather wrap piece of your dashboard right here you can still see that under the instrument panel and we already saw that photo in the beginning didn't we all right, well, let's talk about the Ghibli collection. We went through those quick photos real, fa real fast. It says, every Maserati offers the ability to cover long distances at dynamic speed with ultimate refinement. In the Ghibli, this excitement is powered by a choice of two 3-liter twin turbocharged V6 engines designed by Maserati powertrain and built exclusively by Ferrari at their factory in Italy. They want to make a big deal that this is associated with Ferrari. They've already mentioned it twice. I mean, that's all great and everything. Now, we can see that the, ba the Ghibli base, which is the one we are going to build price option. Now, if you watch my channel, you know that I never usually get down with the base model, ever. So why am I doing it? I, well, you know, the MSRP range on these start at $74,980 for the base model, and it goes all the way up to $82,480 for the Ghibli SQ4. Now, if you just click the Ghibli SQ4, yeah, you see it's got 424 horsepower, Da, 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 it's a V6 all-wheel drive, and the difference between that and the Ghibli S is the fact that it's rear-wheel drive. And then I think about, I guess, I don't know, I was just looking at the Ghibli, and I thought, you know, it's an attractive car. I saw it yesterday, yesterday, or yeah, the other day I went to Cars and Coffee. I went to Cars and Coffee, and I saw one of these. I'm going to put a link up, because I took a video, I did a video. I'm going to put a link up to the Cars and Coffee, and I saw a cool Maserati, and that's what made me think about these. And then I got to thinking, you know what? 345 horsepower is more than enough. The only thing this car really needs is all-wheel drive. So I think, based on the fact that you get a lot of options and everything, I think ugh, the Ghibli base model is the way to go. Let's take a close look. Check this out. We can check out the full specs. Let's, let's look at those. So here's the base Ghibli. It says uh, sporty, sophisticated, dynamic, sculpted forms, 
Fluid volumes and clean lines form the Ghibli, a uniquely stylish sports sedan that is unmistakably a Maserati. It's 195 inches long, so it's about the length of a 5 Series BMW. It's wide, 76.6 inches, uh, without the side mirrors. With the side mirrors, it's 83.8. It's 57 and a half inches tall. It's got a 118-inch wheelbase. Curb weight is just under 4,000 pounds, so it's pretty light. Tires? Well, it doesn't have wide tires on it. It's running 235s all the way around. I guess the, the upside is you can rotate the tires on this car. Um, the engine, it's a V6, makes 345 horsepower. It makes 369 pound-feet of torque at 1,700 RPMs all the way up to 4,500 RPMs. That's what I'm saying. This engine is going to feel really good. It's only missing all-wheel drive. So, you know, I don't need the extra four. I don't need the 424 horsepower. And that's a rarity for me to even say that. So let's move, let's move on to the performance tab, and then we'll keep going. So yeah, it'll do 166 miles an hour, and it'll do 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds. Okay, what's this? Grand Lusso and Grand Sport Series. Okay, the Ghibli Grand Lusso introduces even higher levels of luxury and convenience. The Ghibli Grand Sport delivers a sharper sporting edge. With exciting driving dynamics. Both options are available on all the trim levels. So if you want the if you want a more luxurious one, Maserati Ghibli, you and you wanted an upgrade anyway, you get the Grand Lusso for the love of luxury. If you're like me and you want sporty, you want to be sporty. Whoops. <laughs> Hold on a second. There. If you want to be sporty, then that's what sporty looks like, the Grand Sport. I think that looks pretty nice. I think maybe the one that I saw at Cars and Coffee yesterday or the other day was um, was a Grand Sport edition, maybe. Here they're going to show us the Grand Lusso versus the Grand Sport from a different angle. Grand Lusso, whoops, I got to go back. It keeps doing that. All right, the Grand Lusso looks nice. Grand Lusso looks nice. Grand Sport looks good, too, though. They don't make, yeah, okay. I can see where they're making some subtle changes. Yeah, the Grand Sport looks good. I think that's the way for me. Now, let's go to this next tab. All right, yeah. So here's the Grand Lusso's. Nice. It's a nice interior. You got the wood. You know, it's upscale. It's luxury. It's all that. But then you come over here to Grand Sport. Yeah. Now, that's more my flavor. That's more my flavor. I get in that car. I'm going to feel good just driving around in that car, even sitting in traffic, right? I want to feel good just sitting in traffic So, because you're going to be doing that. So that looks really good. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so this is a back seat. Let's start with the Grand Sport this time. That looks good. See, I learned not to move all the way over because I was ended up clicking the picture. And we come back the other way. And, yeah, that looks good. A lot plainer. It's nice. But to me, it's it doesn't have as much character as the Grand Sport. The Grand Sport has more character. Options and features. Discover the ultimate fusion of race bread engineering, Italian craftsmanship, and style. Whatever your choice, whatever your ambition, the Maserati Ghibli always has a uniquely inspired answer or inspirational answer. Okay, so we're going to learn about some options and features, performance, design, craftsmanship, technology, and there's even some more uh, pages there. So we will, we'll surprise ourselves with what's next. No, we won't. Let's go all the way through. Then there's um, craftsmanship, technology, convenience, uh, safety, yeah, and ending in safety. So let's start with performance. Let's see what performance has to say. It says the Ghibli is powered by a 3-liter twin-turbo V6 engine built by Ferrari to deliver inspired performance in a luxury sports sedan with a limited slip differential. It's got driving modes, normal sport, off-road, and ICE, which stands, it's an acronym, which stands for increased control and efficiency. Uh, it has electronic power steering. There's a skyhook performance suspension with electronic damping control on Grand Sport models which I think we're going to make ours a Grand Sport. The Q4 Intelligent All-Wheel Drive system is only available on that SQ4, and we know that. For design, it says a study in dynamically sculpted curves and gracefully flowing lines. Each Ghibli features the signature grille bearing the Maserati Trident, signaling dynamic intent and poised composure. Here's some bullet points. Front grille inspired by the legendary Maserati A6. A6. GCS. You know why I'm going to do that? Because I'm going to find what that looks like. Let's find out what that looks like. Okay, I'll put an image up. All right, iconic triple side air vents, right? Another bullet point, sleek, 
coupe-like profile with frameless door windows, muscular rear haunches, and quad tailpipes. You got an optional Bianco Alpi and blue, uh, <laughs> white and blue tricoat paint. Let's just say that. It's white and blue paint. And available, uh, I don't even know what that means. Packages emphasize black exterior. So available black packages emphasize the black exterior elements or something like that. You can figure it out with me. Moving on to craftsmanship, it says the Ghibli interior is, is an, an inventive... The Ghibli interior is an invitation to travel in a luxurious comfort. In true Maserati Grand Touring tradition, the cabin expresses elegant Italian style with handcrafted finishes. It says there's a 12-way power front seats with memory, headrest embroidered or embossed with the trident, hand-stitched details throughout the cabin, interiors available in premium perforated leather, uh, and natural leather or silk upholstery, available trims and high-gloss carbon fiber, twill, or high-gloss uh, wood veneer. All right, so you got a lot of options. you got a lot of uh, customization options to make the Maserati Ghibli 100% yours, apparently. Moving on to technology, uh, as far as some more options and features, a cutting-edge infotainment package for the 2019 Ghibli puts the focus on innovative, or I'm sorry, intuitive engagement, real-world assistance, and adaptive enjoyment. These bullet points are as follows. The Maserati Touch Control Plus. It's an 8.4-inch uh, multi-touch screen display with center console rotary control. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth. You got a 10-speaker, wow, 900-watt Harman Kardon premium audio system. That's standard on the Grand. Uh, okay, so that's standard on the Grand Luso and the Grand Sport. Now I think we're going to be doing the Grand Sport. It's pretty hot. Uh, there's an available 15-speaker, 1,200-watt Bowers and Wilkins system. We saw that on that picture with the door. There's a Sirius XM radio which comes with a one-year trial. Then there's a six uh, if you buy the car new. Sirius XM traffic and travel link that comes with a five-year subscription when you buy the car new. Here under convenience. We can see that optional Bowers and Wilkins speaker right there on the door. Anyway, uh, a host of comfort features make Ghibli ownership even more rewarding. Standard or optional appointments include standard remote start. Nice. Hands-free power trunk with kick sensor. Soft closed doors. Power adjustable foot pedals. Power adjustable rear sun blind. And finally, safety and security. It says peace of mind is the ultimate luxury. An available driver assistance package equips the Ghibli with an impressive range of advanced driving assistance systems that exemplify innovation in safety. Here are the highlights. Highway, <laughs> highway assist system, lane keeping assist, active blind spot assist for collision warning plus, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, 360 surround view camera, and traffic sign recognition. Sounds like a pretty good system. What's this? Safety and advanced driving assistance systems. Comprehensive safety and security. Every Ghibli is designed and built to provide world-class levels of safety and security, and it's a top priority for Maserati. Right? An available driver assistance package equips Ghibli with a range of advanced driving assist assistance systems that offer greater peace of mind, whether you're on a grand tour or a dash through the city. And now they're going to break down these for us and we have quite a few and yes we're going to go through all those because we want to know everything there is to know about this new 2019 Maserati Ghibli. So let's start with the highway assist system. It says Maserati's highway assist system automatically keeps the vehicle centered in its lane at a pre-selected speed and a chosen distance from the vehicle ahead decelerating the vehicle as traffic conditions dictate. For collision warning plus the system monitors vehicles ahead and warns if the approach could result in a collision. If the driver does not intervene, the autonomous emergency braking system applies the brakes to reduce speed, so it is um, active. If the driver reacts and forcefully applies the brakes, an ESC pump assists the driver in achieving the highest possible deceleration allowed by road conditions. So it's taking other variables into uh, account. Adaptive cruise control maintains a preset distance from the vehicle ahead. With stop and go, the car adjusts to the speed of the vehicle in front until it stops. If the stop is less than two seconds. Gotcha. One of my favorites here, active blind spot assist. When a vehicle enters the driver's blind spot, a signal appears in the side mirrors. If the driver proceeds with a lane change, the system sounds an alert and can apply corrective steering torque. 
So even if you're not paying attention, it'll it'll pull you back into your current lane. Lane keep assist, Maserati's lane keeping assist system monitors road markings on the course ahead and indicates whether the Ghibli is within lane. If the vehicle appears to move out of its lane unintentionally, the system applies corrective steering torque. 360 surround view camera provides a clear 360 degree view around the car, helping the parking and highlighting otherwise hidden obstructions. Right? Images are shown on the 8.4 inch Maserati Touch Control Plus, that's called MTC Plus display. Traffic sign recognition monitors speed limits and temporary speed limit signs. It then displays the signs digitally in the instrument panel's cluster display. Okay, so we went over everything. We went over everything. Now we're going to get into the building price. Like I said, we're going to do the base model. I think the base model is good. I think the base model is a good car. I think it's got a lot of, uh, comes with a lot of standard features. It's got plenty of power. Now we can throw the Grand Sport package on it. So why not? Why not? The Ghibli and bottles of Maserati spirit and our hunger to innovate, compete, and win, right? That means exclusive luxury, elegant yet bold design, and progressive technology, and of course, empowering performance. This base model, Ghibli, includes 19-inch Poseidon we aluminum wheels, bi-xenon headlamps, headlamps, sunroof, heated front seats, 8.4-inch Maserati Touch Control Plus with navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, got that whole Sirius XM with the uh, trial subscription, rear-view camera, front and rear parking systems, uh, sensors and a blind spot alert. I think it's a good start. Seventy-five thousand dollars. Seventy-five thousand dollars. So, uh, if we want to go to the uh, Grand Sport Edition now, which is what I was talking about. So it says, in addition to the standard equipment, this trim offers unique front and rear sport fascia, twenty-inch Urano aluminum wheels. So you get a, a nice wheel bu uh, bump, gloss red painted brake calipers. Uh, Skyhook performance suspension. You got a 12-way power uh, sport seats, black leather sport uh, steering wheel, adaptive full LED lights. You get the 10-speaker Harman Kardon. You know what? We are going to do it. We're going to do the Ghibli Grand Sport. We're going to do the Ghibli Grand Sport. Starts at 80980 Let's do that. Okay, first things first, we have to pick colors. We got to pick our interior, or sorry, our exterior colors. So they've got their two non-metallic colors. You got uh, Nero, which is black. And then you've got the Bianco, which is white. Then all their metallic colors over here. You've got uh, this Nero Ribel, looks like some kind of black sort of gray. You've got uh, their color. Their names on these colors are, are, are just ridiculous. Um, so I'm not even going to try to do all of the color, all the names. But we will go through all the colors. So they've got a couple shades of blue here that look okay. Uh, these were kind of like some some silverish and browns here, or it's a tan gray. Uh, then we've got this deep burgundy color here. Hang on. There we go. That looks pretty good. Rosso Fulgore. And then I like this. This is like the white but with the metallic flake in it. And then here's a, another blue, which isn't bad. It's okay. I think, uh, I think I could spend a lot of time trying to figure out what paint I wanted to do. So I know that I like the white with the metallic flake in there. It's very shimmery. I think it looks great with the sport. Matter of fact, I'm really digging this car. Now, at first I was, you know, I cracked the joke on it yesterday when I, or the other day at the Cars and Coffee, but now I'm like, actually, it looks pretty good now. I mean, it's 83000 so it's not cheap, but it looks pretty good. Okay, so that was our exterior color. Now we need to take a look at wheels. So now they have all these different wheels options. So here's the 21-inch uh, wheels. They're gloss black. Let's, let's get a better angle on that. Yeah, that's a better angle for that. That looks okay. I don't think the picture probably does it any justice. Let's check these out, though. These 21s here. Those look okay. Then these 20-inch black Tessio wheels. They're $300. They're okay. And then what about these? They're 20s. I think I want 21-inch wheels. The question is, do I want that or do I want the all-black wheels? I think the all-black wheels are actually probably harder to keep clean. I think the black wheels are harder to keep clean. They just get spots in them and stuff. I've seen the wheels up close. And they just don't usually look that good. And when they get dirty, they kind of just get brown. So, and they're they've every one I've ever like tried to clean, they're always super kind of a pain in the butt. So, based on that, I think I'm going to do it in silver. I think we're going to do the 21 inch wheels or $2,300 and change option. We're going to do it in silver instead of black. I think it just looks better. Oh, there's a better shot there. Let's check out the black. Yeah, it's fine, but we're going to do we're going to do the silver. 
I think that looks good. And then let's check out our brake calipers. So we can do brake calipers in, in a few colors. We can do we can do black. We can do a black brake caliper, right? You can see that that it just basically went away. We can do that blue brake caliper, which looks nice. And then the standard is the red. So what I really want to do is like let's can we get another let's get a far away picture shot and throw the blues on there and see how they look. I think that's a nice look because a lot of times anything that shows performance for a car, you can have the, like, the little red this or the red that. I think it's nice to have the blue. It's subtle. And I think that matches the Maserati. It seems to just fit better. It fits better for me. So we're going to do the blue brake calipers. Let's move on to some interior color choices. Okay, so this is the standard extended leather with contrast stitching. Over here, we've got some other colors. What are they showing us here? Hang on. Ah, there we go. It's just moving a little slow. Now, this is the full premium perforated leather upholstery. That's pretty nice. Now, what about this one? That's pretty nice. And then let's go back to that one really fast. That looks really good. Here's a red leather. That looks pretty nice. Red leather is not bad. It's full premium perforated leather upholstery. Some of the tabs aren't working, but... So the full premium perforated leather upholstery is $26.90. What I really want to see was I want to see the blue, but it won't show me the blue. So I think we're going to go with the full premium perforated leather. I like it in black. I like the red stitching. But now it kind of makes me think, ah, maybe I should put the blue or the red calipers on there. But we'll see if we can. Can we change the stitching? I think we can. Let's, let's see if we can. Hold on a second. Okay, digging around, I was able to find under, under this upholstery here. Um, this other option that they showed that had the really cool seats with the with the more character on there, so I like that. I can't see how to change the um, how to change the stitching to blue, but this puts the trident on the headrest. I just saw the trident show up right on the headrest there. We'll probably get a closer look at that. Let's go to the dashboard. There's a lot of um, configurability, and I like that. Let's go to the dashboard. All right, dashboard just had that one trim, the black with the red stitching. As far as carpet, same deal. Steering wheel, okay, same deal on that one. Headliner, oh, you get your choice of headliner. Now, what is this color? It's grigio. Eh, I think that's a little light. I think it's a little light. Let's keep it all dark. We'll do the black. And then for trim, oh, we're going to definitely do carbon fiber. We'll do the high gloss carbon fiber. That's going to change all. Yep, see the carbon fiber all right there, all in the doors. We want to have that. That's the look I'm looking for. Let's move on to... um to packages down here. There's a lot of packages. It says interior carbon fiber package. That's $25.70. Carbon fiber column mounted paddle shifters, carbon fiber door sills, high gloss carbon fiber twill, black leather and carbon fiber sports steering wheel. Oh, so they get real sporty with it. Yeah, let's add it. Let's hit this button real fast. All right. Yeah, I would like that. Let's let's add that. Boom, we got it. We're making this car really expensive now. It's $93,380. Now, what's the driver assistance package? Adaptive cruise control, 360 uh, surround view camera, rear view camera, traffic sign recognition, highway assist, four collision warning. All the good stuff, we need that. Let's get that for $1,590. The climate package, heated windshield washer, heated rear seats, power rear sun blind. Yep, let's throw it in there. We're going to take that too. Under options, what do we have for options? What do we have for options? Let's see. You can get the Bauer and Wilkins Ultra Premium Sound System. It's only nineteen hundred dollars. Only two grand. If you were going to get a Mercedes or a BMW, you're talking five or six thousand dollars, or a Porsche, five or six thousand dollars. So, yep, we want it. It's going to end up being an expensive car, but it is a Maserati after all. Can we get an Alcantara headliner and pillars? But what color is it going to be, though? I don't really care for that light color. So, based on that, no. Extended leather with contrast stitching. Well, there, that's uh, no, they don't show us uh, They don't show us the price on that because it's going to vary. So, yeah, but I want that on the dashboard. I want the extended leather with the contrast stitching on the dashboard. What's down here? Full premium perforated. We don't need that. Ventilated front seats. They don't show a price on that. Uh, the ventilated front seats have small fans located in seat cushions and seat back, providing enhanced comfort in warm climates. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Let's go ahead and hit add on that. Oh, you can't have both. I just saw that the extended leather was removed. You see that? So never mind. We won't worry about uh, we won't worry about the ventilated front seats. I suppose 
the black leather sports steering wheel. Well, we already have that uh, carbon fiber package that gives us that carbon fiber wheel. Show more options. Uh, what else is there? Power adjustable foot pedals? Yeah, why not? Let's see. Black leather and carbon fiber steering wheel. We have that. Um, Hands-free power trunk. We've got that. All-season tires, four collision warning, soft closed doors. Oh, okay, we don't have soft closed doors. Let's do that. What's the full carbon fiber kit? What's that all about? Carbon fiber door mirrors, carbon fiber door handles, carbon fiber B pillar. That's right here. Carbon fiber front bumper profile. Add. Got it. Our car is going to be looking good. Soft closed doors, we got that. Dark finish for LED headlamps. Uh, another carbon fiber package. All right, so we've gone through everything. We've gone through everything. Let's go check out, well, the summary. All right, so here we are at the summary. A couple shots of our Maserati Ghibli Grand Sport loaded out, white. We got the blue brake calipers, 21 inch wheels. Uh, here's all our interior stuff. We got the high gloss interior packages right here's all our packages. We got them all. We got them all. Here's all our options, the Bauer and Wilkins and all that. Now, we don't know what our price is because this extended leather, they didn't give us a price on that. So we're not sure what that's going to be. Base price was $80,000. We spent $16,000 in change. So as configured, it's just over $97,000 for this. It's pretty a nice, nice car. It's a nice car. It's nicer than what I thought when I saw it at Cars and Coffee. So uh, there you go. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, you're awesome. You rock. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Other than that, have a wonderful... Oh, 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 If you like the way I did this configuration, <laughs> you can download the build summary in the description.